I craved more power. I craved more speed. So I built a four-wheeled monster to suit my needs. The monster was quite happy and very fast at first. But the monster soon became angry and tried to destroy the shop in a single burst. So the power of the monster did not go unnoticed. So Brian at XS Motorworks decided to build one of his own and tried to steal my throne. So it's time to adapt the monster. In order to do that, we must take paths previously unknown. Let's get to work, guys. So this is my plan to defeat Brian. It is a Polaris Sportsman 850 frame. Uh, it comes with a much better suspension setup and it comes with front and rear differentials that give me the possibility to actually do on-road racing now versus the solid axle from the other go-kart. As you can see, everything here is actually solid axles, uh, very primitive design. But now I'm going to capitalize on some of that R&D development that Polaris is so greatly known for in the off-road space to actually defeat Brian. So I'm going to actually cut this in half. I'm going to show you the seams that I plan to cut it at. I'm actually going to cut it right behind the motor mount here, right in front of the transmission. I'm going to cut it right behind the front pumpkin. Also, transplant the entire front two suspension halves onto the go-kart. So I'm going to do the same cuts. Cut there. Cut there. I'm actually going to try to insert the rear Polaris suspension mounts inside of this bar and then come down with some tubing here. It's going to not only raise my ride height, but it's also going to give me full independent rear suspension, rear and front suspension, while maintaining a very good chassis geometry. So let's get to work. I'm going to start cutting this. Out the big angle grinder and I begin to cut the quad. The soft, mild steel offered little resistance against it. It only took me a few minutes to actually cut it in half. After I cut it in half, I positioned it so that I could begin work on the go-kart frame and then position it so that I can see what the actual geometry will be like and the rod height. So guys, I think now is a perfect time to stop and marvel at how well this frame is fitting inside of this ATV quad. Oh my god, guys, the actual profile is not even remotely the same as what it was. And I haven't even put the front on yet. The next clip is I'm going to cut off the front. The wheels right at the axles, going to cut those off, cut those off. And then, <laughs> guys, this is almost the size of a Polaris Razor. The wheel base is absolutely almost doubled. It's extremely long. And just a sneak peek as far as my powertrain options. As you can see, there is a motor in there. We're going to go over the power strategy here once the frame is complete, but there's also another motor over there, which I'm going to show you here. I've been hinting, hinting at it for a while now, but that motor's rated at 40 kilowatts. That one's rated at 32 kilowatts. So you can kind of get an idea of what kind of power we're going to be looking at as far as uh, pushing this thing down the road. And that's nominal voltage. I plan on exceeding those power ratings by as much as possible without blowing up stuff, as you know I can do. And also Brian thought of this excellent idea to actually flip the wheels inside, which gives me a ultra wide wheelbase and ultra wide stance. Man, I I'm super excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and start back cutting. Next thing I'm gonna cut the front and take you along for the ride. Let's do it. Alrighty, so guys, this is the final result for today. The go-kart is completely transplanted into the quad. So as you can see, the ride height is pretty good. Everything is kind of mocked up. Disregard this handle here. I want to get rid of that and actually change the steering uh, to a steering wheel. But just a quick look around just to see how far we got today. And guys, I am very pleased at results. And uh, yeah, so in the next video, I'm actually going to finalize the frame fitment. And uh, we will go from there. So, guys, if you enjoy this content, please don't forget to like, subscribe. And you definitely, definitely want to hit that bell notification so you don't miss my next steps on this. Because, 
Guys, I think I am on the same level as Brian now. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.